Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, we're going to carry on with this one because we're getting close. I say we're getting close to the end, but look, here is our newest seed. It looks kind of like a peacat. Oh, I don't know. I'm not very good. What key have we got? We got a key. We got the study key. Nice. Okay, and we need this. Nightfall progress. I've been trying to encourage the nightfall to bloom for a little while now. I'm determined to prove it's more than just a myth. So far, I've deduced that the flower opens at sunset and only during a particular time of year. When exactly that occurs, it still remains a mystery to me. I shall plant a few more seedlings tomorrow and continue my research. So, we do actually need to look at all of these. Uh, they do help. Because it will give us the colour selection that we will need and also an achievement <laughs> um, so yes you look at all of the colors it seems very silly but it's not so we're going to add the clue because we're going to do grandma's research and we're going to add the sunset paintings because both of those are very important to this particular um Plant. That's the word I was looking for. I was looking for a decent word. Let's unlock the door. Yes. Open. Yes. This is our grandmother's study. This is important. And we have our next seedling, which is the sapphire gloom. And there's only two required for this one. Now, this is important, but not just yet. Tree diseases have... Um, and... These are also pretty important as well. But not right this moment. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I have some more books from the department that may be of interest for your research. One I recall was a favourite of your father's. If you have any trouble when you visit the college, tell the secretary that you are collecting materials for your uncle. So long as they are returned before summer's end, the other professors won't notice. Thank you, Uncle Theodore, for believing in us. Okay, so, oh, what's this? Uh, right, yes, so this um game has an awful lot of kind of, ah, right, I remember now, kind of. Uh, right, tree diseases and mushroom book. See, we only needed two and there's a reason for that. Because there is a tree blocking our way. Just just so I can prove to you that there is indeed a tree that is actually blocking our way and causing us some issues. Let's go through to here. Look, we need to get in here. In here is where we need to go. And as you can see, it's blocked by a tree that has a disease growing in it. So, we're going to go deal with that. Right now, in fact. The only sad thing that I can kind of understand why there's no running in this game. Because you are playing an older lady. I think she's, from what I remember, she gives off the opinion that she's about 50. Uh, right, we need the mushroom seeds. Water this. I'm going to take these. And we're going to put them in front of the tree. There we go. See? This was a really simple one, honestly. Because it takes care of the tree for us. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And there we go. Not that I understand why you'd want a tree growing in your um, home like that, but here we are. It's what she wants. Let's be honest, it's what she gets. Oh, there we go. So let's head upstairs and see what we will see behind this tree. <laughs> it kind of rhymes. Okay. Here we go. So here we are. Dearest Arabella, I was taking a walk along the river in Somerset recently and I noticed a site that I just had to write to you about. In the water I saw the brook chalice blooming. I have never seen or heard of it flowering before. None of my books mention it. It was so beautiful. Do you have any idea what could have caused this? 
Uh, possibly, Edith. Possibly. But we can't get in there yet. So, hmm. I'm trying to remember which way we go about doing everything. Because this is our bedroom. Yay! <clears throat> Aquatic weed removal. It's important for a moment. Um, oh, My voice is getting all mm, creaky. Um... Okay. Well, we found a cradle fern. Okay, so... Actually, we... Going to... What? The Trapped Fairy, a folk tale. Oh, yes, that's the one about... So, um, it's a Greek one. Oh, look at... I'm going to be so sad when my cats die. <laughs> It seems our interest in visiting the private plant collection of Lord Spencer has gone unacknowledged. While disappointing, I am not sure it is worth pursuing scientific study in such places. On my recent visit to Brinsby, the young man showing us around had barely a basic knowledge of plants, and due to there being a large group of gentlemen at the party, all useful time and, and erudition was devoted to them, and none given to Constance and I. Let us plan another trip of our own, and perhaps we can see these specimens in their home habitats where they belong. Good on you, Liza. Okay, tincture of red clover. Essence of arnica powder. I'm going to open this up. There is things in here. How oh, to use. So what you need to do is... I'm trying to remember how to play, do this. Um, is to basically make this all match up. Fairly simple to do, honestly. So you can get it started. Um, hmm. Where's that last one? There it is. Come here. Do, do, do. I do like these simple kind of puzzles. Oh my god. It's one of those things of if you're a woman, they're going to... 14 shillings for something that we've just done ourselves for nothing my lord right so um like i said it's been a little bit of a while since i've done this one so i've got to remember how we go about doing this one there's a growler a growler is awake collect the key to the attic Okay, and how it talks about how things some things oh that's a that's a hole. It's in the way. I'm writing to share with you an exciting discovery I've made in my botanical studies. It turns out that some plants are particularly sensitive to sound and seem to thrive when exposed to music or melodies from their natural environment. I hope to share more of my findings with you in the near future and would be delighted if you could join me in my research. Thank you, Marianne. <laughs> Okay, that will be key and important very, very soon. But we've got two more places to search. Uh -huh. See, are we going to do a bird call? So, let's open up what we found so far. River poster. Oh. I believe. Oh my gosh, it's been such a long time since I've done this. I have a feeling. Brook chalice. This is the one that I think, I believe, is to do with the bird's eggs. Uh, fairy story. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, tissue bird calls. Letter about melodies. River trust. 
believe it's the government note. No, that's that's wrong. I've messed up somewhere. Um, we're just going to reset all of our clues for a moment. Um, and I will remind myself how. Right, anyway. Uh, let, actually, let's go s quickly go to the attic. And then I'll have another look at... Oh dear, excuse me. Trapped moths. Moths of England. Moth swatting calendar. I believe these are important. I know they're important, actually. I'm not being that much of an obtuse... Obtuse... Piggy! It's a rusty piggy. Sight of plants. Yes, so it's all to do with timing, and you need to use this. Because you need to use these. And here. Oh, yes. They want me to find a husband. Who wants a husband, huh? I'm joking. If you if you are happy with your, your partner, if you want to have a wife or husband, that's amazingly. <laughs> okay. Well, doing pretty well. It's another ducky! We found a mallard. Right. Sorry, my hay fever is kicking in, something chronic. I don't know if anyone else has had this issue, but I've had so much... Yes, this is what we needed. Uh, hay fever this year. It's been awful. Absolutely awful. Okay, so... We're probably not going to get an awful lot more done, but... Um... Where is it? Fairy story. No, trapped moths. Moth poster. Moth calendar. Fairy painting. There we go, got it. But we might at least get one done and I've done the prep work for the next set. So. Oh, wait, what we actually need to do, we do need to kind of compare these all together. So, it's a garden tiger moth, that one there, that you can uh, you can kind of see my ankova. So, let's have a look. Garden tiger. Okay, so it's September, okay. And we want to go to southwest. England. Um, so if you remember those paintings that I showed you, it has a particular colour scheme that you need to kind of use that will be in here, which you put in here. So I believe we go, if I remember correctly, it's blue. Oh no, uh, yellow. My headset's dying. Um, orange. So that might cut this video short anyway. Uh, red. I believe. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't do the thing. And we did not do the thing. Oh no, I knew I forgot to do something. Well, we're going as fast as we can. We're gonna. We're gonna get this. Uh, we're gonna get this done. Yeah. Right here we go. We need some soil. We need our nightfall. We need our water. We're going to grab our pot and we're going to head up, head up to the attic and get this projection done because you know it needs doing, right? <laughs> so we put that there like this and I believe we project the slides. There you go. See, and we have got the rarest plant. We finally got it to bloom. The plant that everyone said would never bloom, and we did it. Well done to us. Hey, everybody, we did it. Right.
right. Okay, so that is that one. So we still have the Cradle Fern and the Brook Chalice left to do. So let's just remind ourselves. Okay, so... <coughs> Um, I've missed something again, haven't I? There we go, here we go. So, this is important. See, this is the actual cradle fern. I should have remembered that, you know. Fern painting. Oh, which means we then get to add in the eggs. Uh, where are they? Bird eggs. Okay. Um, this is... Uh, where is it? Bird calls. Letter about melodies. Oh, I've messed up somewhere. Uh, oh no. Oh no, which one is it? Oh. I, hmm. There we go, got it. Oh. You know when you're trying to remember something and you're like, how do I do this? Right, let's grow this cradle fern. Bad guy, bad guy. Ow, Loki, I didn't need your claws in my shoulder. There we go, right. Uh-huh. Cradle fern. Wash, wash, wash. Let's take this upstairs. So this is where you will remember we had... Now, for all the information we've got, we are looking to do oh the crested owl sorry <laughs> e c d e g f okay so we go e c d e g f and there you go it grows such a lovely plant <clears throat> yeah, and we've done it guys actually we might be able to get all of them done okay so you know what let's let's get this last one so all the clues we found now letter about weeds weed removal Bath geezer, geyser, river trust, government notice, river poster. There we go. I knew I'd get it eventually. So, this is where the bathtub comes in. The bathtub game. The rumor sand fell down. Um, pour the water. Pour the water into the trough. I don't, I, you will notice that I sing a lot on a lot of my a lot of our shorts on this channel have been just like yes right so we put the, we put the plant in there oh we do not fill the bath yet actually that's not what we do because that would be dumb now we need something that has rust on it do you remember what i showed you earlier i'm gonna go and get that rusty pig and i'll be right back so i don't have to bore you okay Okay, and we're back. So we're just going to dump this into the the uh, the wonderful bath. Now, if you remember, we were um, there was also a Rivers of Somerset at poster. If you want to do this yourself, by all means, go and have a look at it. Um, what we need to do, however, is the temperature of the river from river river from Jesus. Uh, is 25 degrees so we gotta put this down quite a bit to there and then this should work I say it should work there we go look at the beautiful blooms I do love this game It's nice to just have something chill and relaxing for a change. I promise you I will probably do something after this that's going to be like noob plays at Elden Ring or something because I'm rubbish at those kind of games. But here we go. 
We have our three plants done that we, we started doing. Oh, four technically. We've got four plants done. Um, and this is a pretty good place to leave it now, I think. Yep, because we've got a greenhouse delivery to go and get. So, um, tell me what. Actually, let's go and get to our gatehouse and see what the gatehouse has for us to say. We are at our gatehouse. We have the key of the formal gardens. I apologise wholeheartedly for accidentally taking the key to the formal garden home with me. It was in my pocket and I had simply forgotten it was there. I didn't want to disturb your research, so I've left the key in the basket here for you. Oh, that's sweet of him. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I do hope you've enjoyed this one. Take care, have fun, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.